Hello, uh, welcome to Debs Made This, I'm Debs uh, and this is my channel where I'm going to talk about some fabric today so if that interests you please stay tuned. So I wasn't really intending to buy any fabric, have you heard that before? Um, but I saw somebody uh, post a picture of some really cool Persephone's in some rifle paper fabric canvas um, and I felt quite inspired so I went on a little search, I've pre-ordered some Rifle Paper Company canvas for later in the year when it's released. But in the meantime, I was on a site called The Fabric Fox, which is a new to me site, and they had some very beautiful Rifle Paper Company fabrics that were reduced, um, and I felt the need. So I did. The first is this, which is a gorgeous uh, Rifle Paper Company sateen, and it's their wide back sateen. So the width of the, I've only got a metre, but the width of the fabric is, 200 and something, 233 centimetres or something. So I bought this before, I made a So Love Patterns jumpsuit in some, and it sews beautifully. Um, and this, I think, is either going to be a Pauline Alice Rayner blouse, because of the sleeves, or I'm looking over there because the pants cut out, and over there, the cashmerette vernon shirt um, and i'm just kind of having a little bit of debate with myself so i'm going to make the vernon in the striped fabric that i showed in one of my other fabric haul videos which came from manjit at lucky fashions dewsbury and i'm going to make the plain version in that and kind of just make sure i'm happy with the fit and then i'll make a final decision about what this beauty is going to be but i'm really keen to get this sewn up because i can just see it with my kind of um slightly battered gap jeans for summer two pieces which were two remnants of this lovely panel print so it's I think they were about 70 60 or 70 odd centimeters each maybe 60 for that one um, and so my brain is just working about how I'm going to get the best use out of those um, of those flowers because I would like them to be on the Revere of a collared blouse like the Gilbert shirt or maybe just do an Ashton top with them kind of across the bottom and round the neckline. I'm not sure. The, the background fabric of this is absolutely my colour, um, which is probably what drew me to it in the first place. But I'm, um, yeah, starting to get the heebie-jeebies about the flowers a little bit, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, so the next two are fabrics that came from Sherwoods when they had one of their 40% off remnant things. Um, so they're both remnants. So the first was this beauty. So this is called Dip in the Lake. Now, anybody that knows me knows that this is one of my other passions besides sewing. I swim outdoors and have done for about eight, nine years, I think, um, all year round. Um, so when I saw that there was this lady who definitely looks like a younger version of me when I had my hair was a little bit more red, in the middle, can you see her, um, standing in a lake, having a natter to her lovely friend. Um, I kind of had to get this. Um, and it might become one of these that I've got on, which is a myosotis, but I'll talk more about that in my myosotis video, which I will definitely record. Um, so that's a deer and doe pattern that's been out forever and everybody apart from me had made it. Um, and I can kind of see why, but I think that that's what that might become. Um, I think I've got 1.8 or 1.9 metres. So officially, I can't get it out of it, but if I got it out of two metres of this border print, narrow quilting cotton, then I can get it out of 1.9 of a, a good old wide, what is it? Lady McElroy rayon. I'm sure it would be something that I was a bit, it wasn't quite what I was imagined, which is always the problem, isn't it, with buying online. So this is, um, a stretchy denim coloured sparkly jersey and in my head it was going to be a bit more blue than this um, and it wasn't for me it was for my daughter but um, she doesn't like it um, so I've used it to make a toile of the Concord tea and you'll see that in my May Makes video um, but I don't know quite what's going to happen to the rest of it it's not it's not it's about not a bad fabric it's just not quite what I had in my head and you know when it doesn't match it takes a little bit to 
wiggle it round and juggle it about a bit. Stretch fabrics. Um, I'm undergoing a bit of a summer wardrobe audit thing at the minute, which is slightly frightening in terms of how many t-shirts and woven tops I've got. Um, and I'll, I'll probably do another video on that actually. But before I'd got to that point, what I decided I was going to do was to order some stripy jersey. I have a couple of long sleeve striped um, t-shirts, like proper long sleeve, that I wear underneath things all the time at this time of year. Um, but they are probably about six years old and they're starting to look really battered. Um, so my plan was to replace them with the Concord tee with me mate or an Agnes or something similar. Um, so with that in mind, I went to Cheryl at Stitchy B, who does the most beautiful t-shirt jersey and I'll link her down below. But um, she had this really nice kind of fine blue striped uh, jersey with lovely recovery, cotton jersey. Um, so my plan is to do, uh, the one, the ready to wear one I really like has got a different colour band. It's got, I think it's got a red band or a dark pink band um, on the blue striped. And then I've got a raspberry striped one with a blue neckband and I really it's just that little detail that kind of elevates it a little bit so I bought I think I bought a meter and a half of that one so that's going to be a long sleeve t-shirt or a mediumly long sleeve t-shirt and then she had this is a remnant and um, which I think is going to be a vest top but look at the colors on that it's so lovely um and I really like both that rusty red color um and the blues on that so I'm hoping that that's going to be like a little vest top um, a couple have been released recently and somebody was doing a pattern test for one as well but I didn't get on that um, so I might just have to have a squiz through my patterns and see what else I've got I think I've got a uh, five out of four patterns one that I've made before which I think would probably work and then kind of do it with a built-in shelf bra so it can go under my dungies or just with a pair of shorts or whatever um, I am not going to make the mistake this year of sewing a lot of hot weather clothes when we have like about six days that are hot because um, she says with a vest top in her hand, but there you go. The final one is was a real accidental one. So this is a Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn one, I think. If I've got it wrong, I'll write it underneath. Um, I had in my head uh, that I would do an Azores dress. Um, now I had this in my head before I made it and then got a bit disgruntled with the amount of puffiness in the sleeve, but I think I've got a plan for that. So I want to make a dress in it. I've got some Manjit at Lucky Fashion Dewsbury has got some block print fabric, so when next time I get to Dewsbury, I'm going to get some of that. But in the meantime, I spotted this, which is a slightly sheer uh, viscose, which came, is listed as dead stock, whether it's dead stock or not, I don't know. And it's got these beautiful golden accents in it. So in my head, this is going to be a dress with sleeves, and a slit at the front and ties at the front and I shall just waft gently round in it but we'll see what happens with that. Right so the last thing um, is something that came from Grace at Beyond Measure which is kind of local-ish to me at Todmorden um, which is a new seam ripper so I had one of those little plastic prim ones which um, was getting really blunt and then you'd like to do more damage aren't you than good. Um, it comes with the blade, the blade sits in like a little tin i'll put stills if you can't see it although i can't quite work out how to insert those if on the on the off chance that somebody who's watching knows how to get a picture in i think it probably depends what software you use but i'm really struggling to do it you can probably tell i'm really struggling to do it um and so we've got that so it's um the blade inserts in and you tighten it up like you do with a drill and then you can take it back out again to keep small fingers um safe so that i'm really pleased with that uh, the handle, you can buy it in beech, ash and walnut, I think. And I have no idea. I think it might have been. Or cherry. Maybe that's cherry. I think it's cherry. Um, so, yeah, that's a really nice thing. I'm really pleased with it. So that's me. My accidental fabric collection um, strikes again. I'm trying not to be too mean with myself about this as a thing. And especially if they aren't kind of... You know, it's not buying it for buying its sake. There's a plan for the things that I'm buying or the like the dip in the lake that I kind of have to have it. Um, and I waited until it was reduced and da 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 da. So maybe that's okay. I don't know. I'm doing a lot of wrestling with, with making and how fast I make and 
what that produces and how fast it gets used and all of that stuff. So there'll probably be another little vlog about that at some point um, as my thoughts kind of crystallise a little bit. So that's me for now. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please do the like and subscribe thing. Hit the 